Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to quickly look at something real quick. Um, before we did our power cables, I told you to do them like this, basically, and fill them in, but I found a better way. And you can keep your old ones if you just don't want to deal with all this better way business. And that's up to you, but I just thought I'd show you. Um, Cosplay Zine has been giving me some really good tips, and I think I just figured one out after doing a little bit of research. And working with it a little bit, I think I know how to use it properly now. Again, I'm no expert in Blender, and I really appreciate the tips when you guys do have a better way, because I don't mind getting better as well, right? That's what it's all about, getting better. So, if you see what I did there, I shift A, and I went to Curve, and then B0, I guess. If I'm saying that wrong, yeah, you know what I'm like, so just deal with it. Alright, so we're just going to do that with it. I go down to this guy and we're gonna hit geometry the old geometry and then we're just gonna hit this arrow over here and yeah that might be a little bit thick but I think we can just ask to shrink it you get the idea and just stretch it out to the size you want and then ask to shrink it a little longer okay you get the idea so then afterwards we take it over I think I took it a little out of its axis. Maybe I'll try moving that again. No, I didn't. That seems all right. Okay. So around there and around here. Now, there are pieces we can use. And you may have to do this in a few pieces. I haven't tried this. I just kind of was toying with it. And I was like, I should show that. Because it's definitely a, a much better, smoother way in general to do this whole type of thing. Right? So this should twist this around like that. Okay. Yeah, it's a little out of whack. We'll fix her up. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Something like that, maybe. And you could change the shape just by kind of stretching it out like that. But, uh, maybe we'll go back a little bit in the middle here for it's not so stretched out. Or, no, that's not going to do it now, is it? What the heck did I do? Oh, probably when I scaled it in the other mode. So let's just round it off. For if we shrink it, it shrinks evenly together. So just gonna go like that until it's a good shape. Okay. You you do you, of course. Okay. Make it a little thicker that way, maybe. Just for it's nice and round. And then we'll shrink it down again, obviously. Okay. Just keeping it round while we're working with it. You may have to uh, <coughs> come down go into edit mode and just uh, scale just this one see what I mean how it's a little thinner oops not on scale if you need to do, do it just uh oh, that's not gonna work is it All right. well you get the idea anyways <coughs> so you'll have to round your tube a little bit that's my point when you find what's right for you make it work then we're gonna have to move these dots around until we can make them work as well right uh, if you stretch them too much, it's bad, so if you have to use a few of them, it's fine, but we're just going to have to round them, basically, and make our shape that we need. Let's use this one. Okay, let's try moving it forward, try to get in the place in the first spot. Maybe this corner's pretty important, I suppose, right? We may need a second piece, but let's see what we can do with this guy. And it's probably going to take a little bit of working with them and getting used to the the actual tools and everything like that before you get too great with them. But just take your time and hopefully it'll work. Hopefully this works and I can stretch this like this and make that go. So far it looks pretty good. But we're going to have to make that corner, so I don't have to make it work, right? Something like that. And you get what I'm saying. And then we just flip to the, the uh, we'll go out at it mode and just move it into where we need it there. Maybe up a hair for it's on. Or we can go back down actually and move that and edit. For we'd only move just this one up to it and keep the other one level at the ground. Wow, it's not even close. <laughs> you get the point. You get what I'm saying. 
So something like that, and then we just slowly manipulate it, hopefully, to fit in the other shape. I don't know if we're going to get it there or not. We're going to try, though. Let's see it stretching out. And so you can do that with your cables. Um, I think there's a middle piece, too. You can make them bigger or add vertexes. I'm not exactly sure all the tools on it, but I think you get what I'm saying. And it just seems like a better system. And I thought I'd mention it. We're going to use it for our power cables inside of the computer when we do our computer. So we'll get a little extra practice with it, but I'll uh, let you guys get your own in place here. Maybe I'll move that back. Oops. I'll just move that one back, and then I'll just make a second piece. Just might be easier to make the whole thing work and make more sense. Like this kind of loops out back, which is good. Oops. Maybe I shrink the whole thing to make the cable thinner. Make sure it's still in place. You know, it's going to take a bit of adjusting, but you guys are going to get there, and it's just a better system. Use two if you need to. I think you can connect them. I would just move them face to face, click each other, and hit join after. Okay. Just thought I'd mention it and bring it up that that just seems like a better system. And Cosplay Zine was the one who told me. He's been helping me with quite a few little things that he uses in Blender and just advising me. And I really appreciate the help, bud. There you go, pal. I called you out. I said your name again. All right, so um, we'll get back to this. Just thinking what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll quickly make the CPU. And yeah, that'll probably be good enough for now. Instead of dragging it over and making it there, I'm going to make it here and make it fit in there after, because I think that's going to be an easier way to do it. You do you. Like I always say, if you think that's wrong or you'd like to do it a different way, you go ahead. But I think we're going to use the math in the middle of this to keep us uh, in the right positions for all this stuff that we're going to do, okay? So... Every time I start doing it, I instantly forget what we're doing. What the heck is this supposed to be again? Oh yeah, GPU, GPU, GPU. Alright, no problem, no problem. We got this, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> I got stuff on my brain today. Alright. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and thin this out, but we're going to make the basic shape of the, the card that's going to plug in there, basically. Okay. And then we're going to just make sure it's around the right size because the little piece that we're going to use to fit in there, we're going to copy off this piece basically. So we want it to be the same. But this is going to be basically a mini motherboard. A circuit board, I guess that would be a more appropriate thing to say about it. So make it to the length that you want to make your CPUs. Keeping in mind there's a lot of other parts you're going to have to avoid. I think it would go flush here. Okay. Right. Now we move this out to there's where it's going to sit for us. And then we're going to make a separate piece that connects into the actual piece for us. Okay. So let's just move this out a little bit now that we have got it. It's not quite lined up. Okay. Now that it's right lined up. Okay. Just go ahead and shift D again. And we are going to shrink a lot that way, like this. And then we're going to shrink a lot that way, like this. And I don't know the exact measurements yet, but we're going to get there. Okay. What we're going to do is make sure it fits in here first. Maybe change the shape for it does fit a little bit better, for it's a little more snug in there. Okay. It's not very big, as you've seen. Okay, but we made sure it fit in there. Okay, so still make sure it fits in there. You got a little edge on either side. And we're just going to take it and bump it exactly straight back and set it there. Because it's going to sit there on our GPU. Again, I haven't planned this out exactly, so if something goes wrong, please don't hate me. Just realize that I'm trying to do this off the top of my head for it's really creative and nice, right? Hopefully you agree. <laughs> Alright. So... We're not going to join it yet because there's lots more we're going to have to do. You're going to have to decide what sides you want your fans on to be for your GPU, how many fans you want for it. But we might be able to cheat a little bit. 
let's see if we can grab the piece. Is that the mount? Yeah, that's the mount. Trying to grab our GPU back here. I think that's the mount for it. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab it without pulling the whole thing apart. So let's just make a new one, okay? Alright. So, we're going to shift A. Make a cube. Shrink it down, obviously. Okay, it's going to go this way this time, so let's just bring it back there. Try to keep it on this line. Just in case we gotta do anything to keep it symmetrical or anything. We shouldn't have to though, I don't think. I'm gonna make it thin. It's way too big, so maybe we'll actually just keep it that big for now. Because knowing that we're gonna shrink it will make this piece too big and hopefully it shrinks to around the right size. So we duplicated that. We're just gonna move it up a little bit. We'll make it thinner, and then we're gonna make it thicker. And basically what we're making is a mini CPU on the motherboard. That's going to be heat sink to the side of the GPU, okay? And I could be wrong about the terminology on it. It could be called something else, but that's basically the function is it's like a miniature brain for your, for your GPU. The GPUs are pretty high tech these days. Maybe you may to make it different. That's fine too. It could just be a microchip with a bunch of circuits on it. You do you. Control B. Add a couple bevels. I do four. You do you. Okay. Grab it. Pick it up a little bit. Something like that. If you're happy with the size proportions, maybe shrink it a little bit for it stands out a little bit more. Make sure it's attached to the actual board and there's no gap in there. Go ahead and control J. Alright, so let's move it to our board. And obviously it's way too big, so we're going to shrink it way down until about there. Okay? Try to center it on your board if you can. Just this top half, ignore this part. Okay? We're going to need two here, so decide where they're going to go. If you're going to do a dual, if you want to do a single, just put it right in the middle, I would assume. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do two of them might have to shuffle those around a bit. We're again going to steal some more pieces, so let's make sure that's attached. Let's give some stuff some color here for we can see what we're doing a bit better, okay? I could go into this shader, uh, which would work pretty well, but I like to be able to see the colors because it helps with my imagination of what we're going to be doing, okay? Uh, do we got to bool anything out of here? can't attach these yet so let's just do them individually. I'm just going to go to tab, go down to the color and then I'm going to do plus new. Also going to make it green because that's what color this is usually. Could make it any color we want it though if you want to do red because it's only representation. Maybe I'll make it red for once, okay? And there's no other colors on that so we'll flip off. <laughs> flip off. Alright. So we'll grab that one. We deleted the other one because we're going to color this and then repeat it. Just be easier than color in both. So we'll go new. Okay. And we'll make it green. Are we in edit mode? No. Okay. And then we'll assign it. Okay. Do click off of it. Push L. Alright. New plus. Let's make this one gray. Right on. Perfect. Okay. Shift D. So we're just going to copy our little mini CPUs. Maybe they should be a bit smaller. You can do that easily if you want to. Okay. Maybe like that. You're going to have to decide what your look's going to be. Okay. So when I'm done, is the fan in the middle part part of this? I can't remember what exactly what we did. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to hit Shift D. And then I'm also going to grab two of the, two of these. So I'm going to grab that one, grab that one, Shift D, drag them back. Okay. And I've copied that fan as well. So let's bring the fan up. Let's find the right coordinates, right? And let's do a 90. And hopefully this is right. No, it's not. Let's change it back. 
Make sure you change them back if it's not. Okay, that's wrong, so we're going to do minus 90s. Perfect, found it. Good. Good work. Okay, so what these are going to do is basically look like they sink to the back of these. There might be something in between you want to put. You might want another circuit board, something like that. I just got to do this look. I think it looks pretty good. I think I am missing something. I think there's another circuit board in between them. It's been quite some time since I took GPUs apart, so I kind of forget, to be honest. Try to center it as best as you can. If you need to add another board or something, just pause it while you do it. I'm just going to shift D that. Okay. Something like that. Go over a little bit until it's even. You're happy. Okay. Let's take our bolts and let's drag them up first of all. Let's do our 90. See if they're upside down. Okay, that's perfect. So we're just going to take care of our 90 to 0 again. So they're a little more in the in, uh, right place. Okay. And hopefully you guys can use these ideas to make your own version of a GPU. And I really hope this helps you guys in your game and your quest. Because this stuff isn't easy. As you already know, I'm sure. So just make sure they just go into the motherboard. You don't have to drive them through the other side, okay? Then Shift D when you're ready. Grab the motherboard. And we're going to Object Bool. Difference, okay? Now there's holes to hold these in, but we need them again. So we're going to Shift D them, drag them over to this one, okay? When you're exactly in place and you're sure you're in place, I'm just giving you an example. I know I could take more time to make sure of that. You're going to Shift D. Then you're going to take it out of that board again, okay? And I think you get the idea, but let's just take all four of these this time, Shift D. And we're going to drag them over to the right place. Take your time. I'm not going to take too much time. I just want to make them look okay for you guys, okay? And then when we're ready, we'll take it out of this. And we'll just, uh, object. Difference. Oops. You know what? We forgot one step there. Let's go back one more. Okay. Shift D. <laughs> now grab that. Now object, now bool, now deference. All right, perfect, okay? So I would say we're good there. If you want to set these into this more for they're not so sticking up so high, you definitely can. If you want to do it a different way, you're more than welcome to. If you want to end set them, I would do something like this this time. Okay, and let them come out of the back. But um, you're going to have to make sure that that screw piece here isn't under, otherwise it's going to leave a hole, right? Or you can do it twice in a row. You can Shift D, take it out. Ooh, you know what? We probably can't because it's going to rip a piece out of that fan, I bet you. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. Let's go back one so we're not grabbing anything but those four screws. Delete. Gonna have to be like that. Um, you can separate the fan if you really want to to try to pull some more. Um, a deeper holes into it, but I think it's fine. You can also shrink these and make them bigger in edit mode. Maybe that'd be the way to go, but uh, I won't get into that. I think it looks good enough for me, so what we're going to try to do now is probably make a shroud for it. Are we going to do that, though? Uh, we need a plate over here. Let's do that first. Um, okay. Uh, nope, that's definitely wrong. Okay, I meant to do cube, but I did a plane, I think. Cube. Shrink it down. And what we're going to do is bring it over to this edge, shrink it down, way down. Like that. Bring it up about halfway, because it's going to have to shrink some more. Do some manipulations. Make it thin, like that. Make it as long as the piece. And then make it just shorter. Okay. And what this is going to be is where everything plugs in from the outside of the computer. So, um, example would be um, 
just be a, just a little bit bigger. So Shift D, um, HD, your uh, what the heck's a VGA screen? Sorry, I couldn't think of the name of it for a minute there. Things like that would plug into to this piece. So we'll try to make some connections for it too. We'll try to get it colored. Maybe we won't get to making the shroud in this episode because that's going to take a little longer, and I'm going to have to think about how we're going to have to do it because we can't use the fans. Oh, I know how we'll do it, actually. We'll see if we can get to it. I always say that. Eh? I don't know how I'm going to, and then I'm like, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> so what this be is a really super thin piece of metal, right? And the point is you grab a screw, Shift-D to copy it, and it would just hold this front piece on and there might be a few brackets depending on how you make it and all that stuff I'm just gonna do one okay so oops make sure you stay within your stuff there okay when you're in the right place you do something like this you want it upside down and you want it right about here but let's make sure this is the right size first because we just want to use it as a little tiny mount, like a lip, that we screw in. And our screw is going to be super small, just to hold this together like that, okay? Hopefully that works for you, hopefully you know what I'm saying, it's just going to screw this piece to that piece probably. Okay, not much else, basically. Okay, 180, perfect. So bump it in, make sure it's all the way through. It's way too big, obviously, so we're going to shrink it. Make it work, guys. Do what you got to do. Okay? Something like that it can come through a little bit, but just not too much, okay? Something like that. Maybe want to go down a little bit there. And then you shift D. Oh, damn it. Okay, center them. Make sure they're centered. Make sure you only clicked on one of them. Click on this. Object, pool, difference. Okay? Grab your screw. Shift D. Grab this piece. And pool it as well. Okay? Now you have a screw there. You got your hole to hold it on. Perfect. Good work. You've done this. Okay? So that's that on. So we just need to make some markers in here and attach them all. And this will actually be attached unless uh, you want to leave the screws disattachable and the parts disattachable and assemble them in your game. It's up to you. Um, I really wish we had that HD shape I made earlier. I don't know if I'm going to be able to repeat that. That was really cool, right? Let's try. Shift A. And there's newer connections in HDs too. You do you if you need to make the newer ones. Uh, totally up to you. I think there's like Super HD. I don't know what it's called anymore. Get too old for this game, guys. Uh, so it's going to be more of a rectangle than anything. But let's make it big for we can really see what we're doing here. Uh, 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 uh. So what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? So we need this side to be punched out. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, sneezing. All right. So hmm. this is such an interesting shape. This is gonna be hard to do. So let's shift D this. It looks like we're going to have to punch a shape out of this first. Oh, I know how to do this, actually. I'm silly, I'm sorry. Let me think about this. Jesus. Why is that so complicated? How did I... Oh, I know how to do this. Shift D. Okay. S about the size of the USB port that you're going to be putting in there. 
Sorry, that this one's a little bit complicated, so I really had to think about it for I didn't mess it up. I'm just going to switch back to this for a second. This is going to kind of matter where this is, so just want to make sure it's on one side opposed to not in both. trying to figure this out, but I don't know how the hell I did that shape, to be honest. <laughs> let's take these two out for now. Let's take this again, and let's just run this in and see what we got. Hit S, shrink it down. Okay. Um, let's do it this way. It's probably going to be an easier way to do it instead of getting the shape punched out. Difference. Okay. And then take one of these, put it in there. When you're happy with where it is, maybe shrink it down a little bit, make sure it's not sticking out the front. Like that, something like that, right? Go ahead and attach it. And, oh my god, we gotta make the opposite, I'm so silly. So undo that. We need to make this shape take out of that shape. <laughs> Oh, you know what? This will work. And then I'll just flip it. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just getting a little confused. It's very complicated. So we'll 180 this. All right? And that will be our new port. Instead of cutting it out of the other one, we'll just have this stick out in front of that. We'll just obviously have to uh, size it a bit. So something like that. All right? If you want, you can punch the shape out and then set it inside, but it's probably an easier way to do it. And then if you want to put USBs other places on the computer, just hit Shift D and we'll pull this over here and save it for later, okay? But make sure it's same si the right size that you want. Make sure it's where you want it, something like that. Um, we're going to drag it out just a little bit, make sure we're through. Do this. Uh, Shift D if you want to make a few of them. I guess I'm trying to make an SD more than a USB, but you guys get the idea anyway. So, uh, SD is a little bit of a different shape, but maybe do those two there. And then repeat them, Shift D. Okay. And then grab this piece and object, bool, difference. Okay. So if you wanted, you could shrink these just a little bit. And they'll just have a little bit of a gap around them. And then if you wanted, you could make a same screw bracket to hold them on back here if you want. Up to you how in depth you want to get. Probably going to have to make some kind of a shroud to cover all this work up that you take apart. If you take apart your, your uh, US, or sorry, your uh, the heck are we called here? <coughs> um, GPU. But uh, that's up to you. So let's see if we can make the SD shape, maybe. A little better so I'm gonna go in edit mode on that I'm gonna hit control R I'm just gonna do actually let's do one and we're gonna move it over to like here ish and then we're gonna hit control R on the other one other one drag it over to that side as well okay and I think this is the SD shape obviously this isn't in there but we'll make it after we just need to do something like this nope it didn't work. So maybe hit control control R again. And what it is is we need this to be able to taper, so we need a second edge. Control R once again. So something like as best as you can make it even as possible, because it's gonna look better the more even it is. Something like that. And that's the, what we want. Something like this and then when we go like this and we shrink it it should be the right look right now we just got to punch some shapes out of it and then shrink it some more and we should have our 
uh, HD. Sorry about that. I don't know why I made USB there. Maybe there is on some. I don't know. But we have a spare USB for later, so that's going to come in handy, I assure you. So first off, maybe we'll punch out the whole shape of the inside of this. So um, maybe it'd be best if I repeated this, Shift D. Okay. Then we asked and just shrank it down a little bit. And then we just moved it. Oh, we might have to do up and down a little bit to make more of an edge there. And then, okay, and punch it through the front. Oops. Oh, I shouldn't have been doing that in edit mode, but that's going to be fine. Something like that. And you want to go to the depth you want it to stick in. Right now we're shrunk, or we're pretty big, so that it's going to shrink with the piece. So we'll go like that, probably. Pool difference, okay? Now what do we want to do with this piece? Okay, we are going to... I like this way better than the last time we made the USB. It might look better the other way, honestly, but um, I think that this way is better for... especially if you're going to make a bunch of this stuff for your game, and then you can just make this piece a piece that's separate on the side and just keep reusing it in different builds and stuff like that. Sorry, I should have done that. Accidentally click that. Don't do anything in there. Just get it kind of level, I think, and it's something like that. If I'm wrong, you just move it to wherever's best, but I think I got it, right? So I'm going to grab that, grab that, control J. Perfect. So now that's one piece, I believe. Shrink it. You know what? Let's undo that and shrink it evenly. With S. Okay you're happy let's drag it over if you want to cut out the shapes I just showed you how on the last pieces you just do the same thing obviously if you want to kick out the USBs and put the, these in there just make them fit looks like it's a little bit wide but not exactly sure how HD's how wide they are so maybe I'll just leave it like that I don't think they're that wide this way but Maybe we'll uh, do that. Drag it forward. Okay. And when you're happy, just go ahead and we'll join those. And I think we're good. I think we're good to start joining this uh, together. We're, we're only missing a shroud, really, but I think we have all our pieces. Maybe we'll make... Sorry, those weren't joined for some reason. I don't know how they moved together. So we're just going to shift uh, D now that they are joined together. And I'm just going to drag it over here before we have an extra one for later if we need it. I like the way it looks. You like it? Okay, perfect. So grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab this, control J. Okay? Change the color in a minute. Um, um, we can grab these, we can join them, control J, and if you click in there, there should be extra pieces we can join, our little CPU units, okay, oops, now if there's anything else in there, we should see it, I don't think there is, I think we're on the so let's go ahead and attach our screws. Uh, grab the motherboard or the GPU. And we're gonna have to change the colors of some certain things, but that's fine. Should be all connected. Okay. Right on. Let's go ahead and just color this up and then we will finish for the day guys and I know this has been a long one so but GPU is pretty important as you know oh we forgot a piece let's maybe do uh, something special to this let's um, let's go to edit mode and we will control R it and then just wheel that out a bunch make a bunch of teeth okay it's gonna cut right through it just right click to let it center itself and with that 
uh, I will click off and I will click all the faces but only the second ones okay I'm just going to try to give this some a certain look you don't have to repeat this if you don't think it looks good or you got a better idea do you as I always say I don't want you guys to think you gotta follow this textbook you gotta kinda make your own style especially if you don't think something looks good so we're just gonna do that okay I'm just gonna do that and then I'm just gonna go like this I don't know if I shrike the whole thing or not I might have to I'm just gonna try to just shrink some of the faces just a little bit smaller than the others but I think I'm shrinking them all so maybe maybe I'll just leave it like that but um, at least if we do this we can still grab that control J when we go into coloring we can check every other face and make it a different color so let's go to color and let's get some of this stuff done guys so things that are gonna be black let's go ahead and grab them first so this 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 black I think it's black um, actually it might be metal let's go metal with it it'll probably look better the piece on the inside is definitely white plastic I almost guarantee it but I could be mistaken so if that's the case then you guys make it a different color if you know it's a different color I'm gonna make mine white and I'll just do that okay so I think it looks pretty sharp this piece needs to be colored still and it needs to go probably gray again steel okay you might want to do aluminum versus steel whatever you gotta do okay all right let's grab this piece and let's grab every second no let's grab the whole thing first with L and then we're gonna go green okay then we're gonna grab every other tooth like we did before before when we tried to shrink it I miss that up it was different than on top and the bottom what have I done Okay, make sure it's the same on the bottom. How the heck do I got different? Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I see where it's all gone wrong. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm silly goose. Sometimes I think I clicked the right face and I didn't. Anyways, we're going to make these gold. You can grab the end caps too and make them flip gold, but I think this is the idea. You just want there to be teeth there that are gold color do that new we'll go over to something like bright yellow and then we'll just dim it down a bit make it a goldy color okay perfect I like it I don't know if you like it you're welcome to keep it the color one thing we missed uh, sorry uh, this screw right here gray okay um, these screws here click off everything L L L L L L, uh, oops, back. We'll just go to edit backspace. There we go. And then we don't have to click everything over again. We'll make them gray. And that looks pretty good to me. If you want to do your fan blades, you can. Okay. Maybe we'll do them white because the background's red. It's going to look a little sharper, right? Okay. So all that's left really is a shroud and probably an electrical plug-in, but we have everything else we need. And we should be able to just steal those actually. We should be able to steal this. Let's do that. Let's just steal that before we go. Just to be clever. Ha ha ha, computer. We have defeated you once again. Okay, that's basically this. And sometimes there's a few of oops, a few of them is the only difference is like sometimes it's uh, two, four, six, you know. So what we'll do is we'll give this one four, and then when we make an alternate GPU, we can give that one uh, two. Okay. 
And I don't know exactly how we're going to finish this all off, guys. I'm just making it work, like I said, because that's what I do. But we'll figure this out. We'll get it done in the end, I think. So we just need a shroud for over that. Go ahead and connect these to that. Control J. Okay. And I think we got pretty good. We got pretty far. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And we'll be back probably tomorrow to finish this up. Might make those red. It would probably make more sense. I don't know. Do you? You know the game. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time where we will finish this up. Well, <laughs> we'll finish up the GPU at least and try to get the motherboard sorted out some more. Okay. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And you can check out my game. There should be a link below. Fished in a town to remember. Pretty fun. If you want to show me some love and support, guys. I like that love and support, guys. And we'll see you next time. Peace.